probably noticed lots of school buses back on the streets and highways as our children head back to school. School bus safety is about to improve for kids after the Texas legislator voted to require seatbelts on all new school buses. But it's going to take years for every bus to be equipped. So tonight, Channel 2 Investigates is revealing how many buses in the major local school districts already have safety belts. Andy Sirota breaks down the numbers and he's got a timeline on when parents can expect a total overhaul. The images are startling. Students thrown from their seats, bloodied and bruised in a school bus crash. Thankfully, this scene isn't real. It's just a drill staged last week by Cleveland ISD. But in September 2015, this scene was a tragic reality. Two HISD students died when the bus they were riding in was hit by another vehicle and fell from 610. They weren't wearing seat belts. That accident highlighted the issue of safety belts on school buses and parents like Jennifer Aguirre want action. I know that my child's school bus does not have seat belts and that makes me a little bit nervous. I wish that they did. This year, the state legislature went to work. State Senator Sylvia Garcia wrote Senate Bill 693, which passed this summer. It requires new buses purchased after September to have three-point safety belts. I mean, it makes no sense that we require seat belts in cars, airplanes, even golf carts, but we don't do that for our children. The new law takes effect September 1st, but we wanted to know district by district which Houston area school buses have safety belts right now. In Aleaf, 27% of the district's 330 buses have lap belts. In Fort Bend ISD, that number is 23%. HISD has 1,113 buses, and 48% of them have either lap or three-point safety belts. No district out there really wants to cut service, so that is a fear that a lot of districts have. Bill Powell is director of transportation for SciFair ISD. His district has 1,041 buses. 19% have some form of safety restraint. Powell says districts have to come up with the money to purchase new buses with the required three-point belts. And it will take the district at least 15 years to replace the entire fleet. By then, he says, safety technology and engineering could change. We're hoping that everything will line up eventually and, and it'll be a, a cost-effective measure. Right now in Umbel ISD, 25% of the 263 buses have safety belts. In Katy ISD, that number is 31%. And in Pasadena ISD, 24% of buses have safety belts. We always must put our children first when we start talking about getting them to and from school. Since there are no special funds to help districts pay for seat belt equipped buses, a district can opt out of the requirements. I would ask school districts to think twice about opting out to do everything they can to 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 reshuffle their dollars parents like kelly davis say in the meantime ask questions personally check your child's bus and talk to your kids about the importance of wearing safety belts if their bus has them it is so important for parents to be educated about the school buses in their district Right now on Click2Houston.com, we've broken down the numbers even further to show you which buses have lap belts and the newly required three-point safety belts. Look for this story in the Investigates section. Andy Sirota, KPRC Channel 2 News.